everyone, my name's Jamie. I am an art director with Jerry's Artorama, and today I am going to be painting an octopus with the Daniel Smith blues. So I already have my ink sketch here of the octopus, and I'm gonna do the wet on wet technique here for his background. You can see I've already done a few swatches on the left side of the paper, just so I can see how these how the color lays down in this reflections watercolor journal. And I'm choosing to use actually a good amount of pigment with this water brush. Um, I want the pigment and the paper to work with me. So now that I have the water down on the paper and I'm applying a heavy amount of pigment, that pigment will just kind of flare out and give me uh, what you see are these wonderful, um, almost cloud-like textures. And I'm using the Aqua Stroke uh, Go Brush here, which has a well of water and is great because that means I don't have to worry about keeping uh, an extra cup of water or a bucket um, in my workspace that I might run into. And I can just continuously work by applying light pressure to that water well and it will saturate those bristles for me and I can just keep dipping into uh, my palette here. I'm not being too picky as you can see about where some of the darker and lighter areas are in the background because this octopus is just kind of floating through and I really love uh, the textures that I'm getting. So since he's not on a, a ground plane and he's making his way through the water, I'm just going to let this background stay uh, as uh, an abstract. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start laying in my base color. Uh, I really, really love the Daniel Smith um, sort of teal over here. And I've decided that I want to make that the main color for my little sea creature. And again, this is just a light application. I'll be adding more on top of it. So again, not too concerned, just trying to get some color in there and see where I want to take this. And I've decided that his light source is going to be coming somewhere from the upper right, a little bit closer to the viewer. So I'm going to start adding in shadows based off of that. So the very top of his eye and the crown of his head, I'm going to leave a little bit lighter. And then as I'm working on his tentacles down here, start making them a little bit darker, especially along the insides. Now I'm going to take some of this um, mid-blue and start adding that under his tentacles so that there is 
um, some more contrast between the top and bottom tentacles and give him uh, more of a multicolor appearance. I'm also going to let that blue kind of transition into the more teal parts of his tentacles. I'm going to bring that up into his body as well just to tie uh, the whole thing together. You can see I'm adding it into the shadows. I'm going to do just a little bit of, of dotting up here at the crown of his head and give him a little bit of texture. And as you can see, I pick up color from the palette and I will use the left, the left page in my journal as a way to just see how much pigment I've picked up or just to get the right amount of pigment that I want to work with and then apply it to my uh, image. Because here I've picked up a much darker color and I'm just accentuating the shadows. So I wanna make sure that I'm not using too much and uh, deepening these shadows far more than I want them to be. And there we have our finished octopus. This has been another unbox and swatch after the swatch. If you enjoyed following along, please like and subscribe. Thank you again for watching.